previously on Neo, The World Ends With You. Hey, look, it's penguins. Never time I come across penguins. Penguin noise, the ultimate of noise. Brr. Look at their fucking awesome power. Look at them waddle menacingly. <laughs> oh my God, look at them, they're so cute. Look at them running around. Oh, look at them running around trying to murder my ass. Oh. And now back to... Little by little, you feel a bit better. Sneako B, back with some more Neo, the world ends with you. When we last left off, we threw down in another scramble slam and we completely rocked all the other teams. We have now gone from being the little bitch baby scrubs to being the overlords right up there with the ruin bringers, right? They fear us. We're so freaking demon powerful. We don't even need our entire team to beat another team. We just split them into two and tackle two teams at the same time. That is that is kind of terrifying, right? Like, so this is, clearly all these other teams have like a billion people on their team, right? Some like random jobbers. We got four guys and we're just like completely destroying them, right? It's all about quality, not quantity, motherfucker. <laughs> Didn't they teach you that in school, huh? Didn't they? However, even after, you know, completely curb stomping everybody, we're still somehow in second place despite the room bringers doing nothing which is really kind of leading us to believe that regardless of what we were going to do, the room bringers are always going to win because that's just, the, it, the system is rigged for whatever reason. I don't know. I'll, I will be very curious to see if at any point we can actually overtake them, right? Will we ever be the top dogs? We'll always be like, oh, well, room bringers off screen did some really dang shit you didn't see. Man, you should have seen Susakishi. He was like flexing his muscles and like 3,000 noise around just instantly died and they got 100 billion points. Who would have thunk it? Well, I'll see y'all next time. Lol, get fucked, Twisters. I'm liking that Beat is just like confronting everybody too. He's just like, man, this is bullshit. Definitely being more confrontational about it than the rest of the twisters but yeah i think from this point forward i assume it's gonna be at least one more slam right i imagine it's gonna be one more week at least and one more slam and i'm probably not gonna try anymore to do the, the getting all the points thing i was even seeing some people in the comments that were like yeah this deck kind of sucks trying to like get everything because like holy crap we went from like the top prize was like 60k and then this one goes like the third place prize is 200k it's like what the hell i actually almost wonder like did people like this battle system enough to where they were like totally fine with literally spending like an hour trying to grind points out like these fights are not short man it seems like the only viable way to do it is truly is to get as ass blastingly op as humanly possible and then go back and do it like it, it feels very weirdly designed in my opinion like I, I don't really know what they were trying to go for here because I definitely don't find that, like, those slams and trying to get those points to be that fun. Like, I'm not saying the battle system is bad. I actually don't think it is. I think it's pretty good, even though the wolves can suck my fucking nuts. But I don't know. I, I think the battles actually feel longer in this game than they did in the original World Ends With You. But maybe they felt like the pressure to, you know, continue the chain thing. But then the problem is now the chain battle system, the battles just going for freaking ever. They just take so long. And if you mess it up, it's like, that's it. You're screwed. It's like, oh my God. You're losing my god dang mind. I was also happy to see that a lot of people did also share my hatred for the wolves. So I'm glad it's not just me, but you guys did recommend that in general to really deal with them, like the way to get them off is usually with a finishing move or something that like charges and then releases. So like a grenade, a kick or something. But if I'm over there like punching them or slashing them just again and again, it's not gonna do anything until I hit them with the finisher. So, okay, all right, good to know. But anyway, last episode, uh, Ahim Today said, so recently I came to a completely inconsequential yet utterly wild realization. So in the first game, and maybe this one, we'll have to see, the higher-ups of the Reapers are named for roles in music production that roughly correspond to their roles in the Reapers game. Uh, the producer enables the entire project, establishes the parts of its structure, and ensures the whole thing runs as it's supposed to. The composer writes what the song in the, this metaphor, the Reapers game, actually is, turning it from the producer's relatively lax specifications into a concrete concept. The conductor takes the composer's work and leads others to make it a reality, responsible for changing only minor specific details. Details. However, I realize there's actually a fourth position just like this. The players. They play what the conductor has received from the composer. They're the ones who actually fulfill the composer's vision. A conductor and a thousand empty seats will make no music. Blew my mind. Wow, that's pretty cool to... Actually, to be perfectly honest, I always saw um, 
all of these positions as like game related, especially with like the producer and players. Though it didn't really occur to me that necessarily the composer, conductor, I, I just sort of thought composer, conductor of their own games. But when you really think about it, it's really more music. And then when you think about it that way, you go, oh yeah, certainly the producer and the players could also be seen as members of a band or an orchestra or whatever, all part of the, the music genre, which is, that's actually pretty damn cool. Maybe instead of like playing these games, you also be writing some music. Man, that's why all these songs play in the back and remixes and shit. Maybe we just be like spitting fucking hot rhymes all the time and see who's got the sickest fucking beats, right? And we all know I'm the one with the sickest beats because I got beat in my fucking name, baby. Woo! In that right fret. Heck yeah, man. High five. Yeah, high five. Woo! But ahem today, thank you so much for that enlightening comment. I, I didn't occur to me. I feel like it should have. Like, it seems so obvious, but it, it didn't actually hit me that way. Man, it's for that reason you are comment of the day. It does got to show, I think, why music is such a big part of these games, right? I guess not really affecting the gameplay. No, no, it is. It is affecting the gameplay. Especially in this game where you're quite literally getting beat drops, right? You're not really going in time with the music, but you're coming up with your own rhythm of attacking and then using that to create combos. So it, it kind of is, even if it's more like a, a gameplay mechanic more than actually like, you know, I'm going to have you write a song. Whoever writes the best one wins. Bye. But okay, start of a new day. We are seemingly in second place. And we're going to see if we can't uh, start to become top dogs. Seems like we only have two. Wait, wait. Someone needs our help. Someone needs our help. Oh, no, we got three people. Three people to help today. So, man, I, I got to say, this freaking pin right here, this Yukimitsu pin, is insane. Look at this shit, man. It's level one, and it's got over a 1,000 damage. It's like easily my most damaging pin. I think it was originally a, another one before it leveled up, like, and evolved. But god damn, man, it is... It's insanely good. I'm starting to see now why the Uber pins are like, we can only let you equip one. Because up to this point, it kind of felt like most of the Uber pins were just like, they're all right, I guess. They're like mildly better. But this is like the first one I'm like, holy shit, this one kicks ass. I think I have something else too, actually. Oh yeah, this one. St. Asta's Shrapnel. Shrapnel rounds. Oh my God, I'm like throwing like, what am I throwing at them? Like gold bombs? Throw sun-shaped objects at the target. Keep attacking to randomly hurl a larger object that knocks the enemy back. Engrave the words Se Season's Greetings. Oh shit, this comes with HP Vampire as well? Restores a small amount of the team's HP when dealing damage. Amount HP restored relative to the damage dealt. Hmm. That sounds like that could be very good. It's not... Actually, now I think about it. I think the bomb one I have technically is like... Yeah, it's the... HP Vampire 2, so it gives us uh, more HP. So it might not, it might be sort of negligible, but yeah, it's definitely making me want to get more Uber pin slots. I hope someone we unlock uh, gives us that soon. Like I see already, I think two people on the board that uh, could give this to us. Like I think Sushi Kishi has one, but we have no connection to him. And, oh yeah, he has one. But he's out here by his lonesome. He doesn't want to be friends with anybody. I don't even like Facebook. So I guess we'll go ahead and real quick, let's see if uh, tutorial shop's gonna need more stuff for us. Anything? Are you looking for no? Nice day? Maybe she's done. Okay, so the people we gotta help too are in Dogenzaka, West Exit Bus Terminal. And, oh, two people in Dogenzaka? So down this way and over here. And I seemingly can go there right now. So let's go do that then. Ah, I do like this kind of run into the beat. It's a cool idea. It makes me feel like I'm making my own music with my controller. Uh, uh, uh. Oh shit, I ran by him. That's just some fucking jobber pure heart. We meet again, Wicked Twisters. <laughs> what? The hell are you? <laughs> I'm sorry, we killed so many guys with the same face, all right? You all look the same. What? Tell me you forgot about me already. I'm Sumia from the Pure Hearts. Remember me from yesterday? You don't have a name. None of you have names. You all just some random ass, bitch ass scrubs who exist for us to beat on and nothing else. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, I remember you all right. You try to do a sin, you cheater. He did? I don't remember that. I don't remember that either. I actually don't remember either. I'm making shit up. <laughs> oh, that? Oh, so sorry. It won't happen again. What do you want? Nothing big, really. I was just hoping for some advice. What kind of advice? Matoi messaged the team, but I can't quite figure out how to respond. Oh, it's easy. You just tap the empty bar, start typing in. Uh, I know that. What I mean is Matoi's always using all those fancy foreign words. It's hard to follow. Ah, yes. <laughs> His fucking random jargon. That's just a mishmash of a bunch of different languages. The time I get think I got a handle of it, he spots some more gibberish. Dude, I know exactly what you mean. I know he expects all of us to keep up with him, but I'm having a hell of a time matching his pace. 
Why not just tell them straight that straight up? Yeah, no. This isn't middle school. Stuff like that doesn't fly in proper society. What are you talking about? Real dolls have to walk in, step with their superiors, not the other way around. Super basic stuff. I mean, if it's an interrupting workflow, why not go ask some real adults for advice then? <laughs> We're, dude, aren't you older than we are? I would, but for some reason, Matoi's taking a liking to you a lot. Really? Probably because I'm just a raving fan of his. Yup, he says some really nice things about you, so I thought you might be able to help me find the right words. Matoi talks about us? About me? Oh my god, my life is complete now! You right there, Rinda? Oh yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah, fine. I, I, I don't give a shit. He sure does. So what do you say? Can you spare us a few words to say, say to Matoi? Since he asked so nicely. What am I doing? In print? Plus, the bait is taken. Uh, let's just giz over with, yo. I'm doing this for the social network. All we gotta do is send the brother a reply, yeah. Mm. Right, but we gotta do it all adult-like. So what does this message say? It says, uh, here, it'll be easier for you to read it yourself. Well, let's see. When it comes down to it, we're all compadres in this game, capiche? So I thought we could have a little remue mige. I mean, por que no, right? But enough from moi, I love some commentarios from everyone. <sighs> and not a single person has responded. <laughs> Rindo's face. <laughs> I've seen the void. Ah! Wow. I'm pretty sure he wants to know how we feel about joining forces with other teams. Sounds right to you. Really? Hell, I now. But well, let's assume he sends a lot of messages like this. I feel like everyone's is a new standard for illegibility. And even if you understand, how the heck are you supposed to respond, you know? I can just leave him on read. He'll make all of us, including Moki Toei, look bad. Uh -uh. Lord Rindo, are you up to the task? Nah, fuck this one. I don't know, but I'll give it a shot. There's no time to look for answers. I'm on my own. I'll just have to think of, like, another. What would he say in this situation? What would he say to himself? Agree to everything. Use a quote. Be as anothery as possible. Tell him how you really feel. Be as anothery as humanly possible. This is it. This is my chance to get on another's level. How about... There, sent. Hmm? Oh, let me see. An excellente idea, but we should have a backup Kakaku ready. Like that. Holy crap, this is incredible. What did you say? I don't know. What? What's it mean? Fuck if I know. Just like, we should have a plan B or something. Ah. It's perfecto. I feel like I really know what I'm talking about. That's right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and screw you over so when we leave, you're not gonna be able to keep this shit going. I'll be Matoi's right hand man again in no time. Thanks a million twisters. I'll go easy on you next time to return the favor. Whatever, fuck you, dude. I'm gonna bury you. Gee, thanks. Ah. Like we need it, cocky bastard. What a dick. Helping folks out is great and all, but damn, ready to bounce. So that's how Matoi talks to his team. Wow. <laughs> I thought it was just for us. We got two hour calcum for at least. And FP points and friends that tie you to anybody that I can give a shit about. Oh, there he is. Oh my God, yes, some fucking noise magnet. Wait, didn't this guy also have that? I guess this must be like, if I get this one and then I get this one, it like makes it stronger or something. A uh, Sumio Tanaka, a once inarticulate businessman who has reinvented himself as an intellectual in the UG. His favorite word is brainstorming. Really? My favorite word is big brain. Shut up, Fred. <laughs> Seeing Hogfang's socially awkward shopkeeper remind him of his own past. So he shows his support by buying more than he needs. Uh, yes, please. Chasing after these noise can be kind of annoying. Hold the R2 while scanning to draw in the noise. Let's get noisy. I think I better hold off on buying some of these other ones until I've uh, got some more FP points. Because this, at this point, I am starting to run a little bit low. Gotta focus. Oh, no. Is this what I think it is? Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Please, God, no. Please tell me this is not that fucking chameleon. Made as a regular enemy. I see frogs. No, there he is, motherfucker. I was hoping to God, I was like, just be a boss and never be anything to ever again. Never be anything else. Ah, fuck you. Ah, you suck, you motherfucker. Ah, fuck. Dude, lo oh God, I fucking hate it, man. And then I can't fucking lock on. I know, I know he's there. I know he's there. Okay, just. Yes, I see you, dude. Okay, fucking die, please. 
That is definitely not an enemy I want to chain ever. Huh, welcome. Hey, this is like Shiki's hat. Shiki dicky bully dicky. Or wait. Yeah, 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 Shiki's hat. A striped navy blue newsy cap fit for any occasion based off an idea that the designer had before starting Gano Nero is now one of the brand's most iconic pieces. I'll take it. Oh, hey, VIP boost. Increase VIP level a little more after a battle. Hey, that's cool. That's pretty neat. It's good because, yeah, by default, it goes slow. Like, super goddamn slow. Interesting, there doesn't seem to be any uh, gatekeepers this uh, this day. It's not yet. All right, there should be two people out here. There's one. It's no face man. Uh, okay, here we go. That's got a Nero. What the hell are you talking about? Uh, that guy's hoodie. Oh, we saw someone wearing that the other day, right? Wait, is the same guy? Uh -huh. It appears the poor fellow has been possessed. Then he mentioned it. He is giving off a pretty funky aura. Alas, we may have no choice but to go on the offensive. Right. You said it, yo. Let's do one of them at extinctions. Yes. Close enough. Well, anyway, let's do this. <laughs> yeah, go, on, go extinct, bitch. So this shit to fucking normal and save. I came away from Kansai to buy some god on here for my kid sister, but Cash was so cute. I bought a ton of stuff to see her smile. Oh, I still for it. Fuck me. I did it for my sister, but I also did it for my boner. We shall murder your boner for justice. Let's do it to it, yo. She was so perfect. Once to get back to Casa, I skipped by forever. Holy shit, this one gonna be five minutes? Oh, wait. That's because I, it's probably because I got that skill that uh, increases how long I can, uh, I need to take to, uh, to beat these. Which I assume also makes it easier to get the gold. At least I would think so. Oh, this is gonna be easy. Oh, a green one? Guess you feel we might be soulmates. Have we had a green one? A healthy erasure? What? I don't remember ever getting a gold or a green one before. It's like happy thoughts and I'm killing them. These are good. These are positive feelings. Oh, fuck this shit. No, love doesn't exist, right? Love is dead. You're gonna have to learn that the hard way. Now he's angry. Can't afford trust money all at once. What is I thinking? Fuck me. What? What in the what? What in the what? Dude, did you see how much health I just lost in the span of a second? I was at full health. And like, I don't know, did both of them hit me at the same time or something? Whatever happened, knocked down to within an inch of my life. And then I died. Wow, okay, let's just go ahead and pump this shit up a little bit. Okay, let's try this again. Oh my God, I'm scared of these bears now. This is what it's like, what would it be like to actually fight a real bear? That's what I'm feeling. Yeah. 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 Ah! <laughs> Why is it gonna hurt so bad? Please die, Mr. Bear. And Fred, will you please stop whiffing your goddamn attack? Ah! Gotta hope that's it. No more. Okay. Okay. No! No, it's still going! What the hell? I gotta find a sad rhino now! Oh, I think this is why this one's so long. It's because they put a fucking boatload in here. God damn it. I was really hoping this wasn't going to go beyond fucking three fights for these. Okay, leveled up. That healed me. Is that it? Oh, thank God. All right. Oh, hey, that's dope. I actually equipped this to the right person. <laughs> this balloon one was actually one of the question mark ones where you're like, apparently you only evolve if you happen to evolve it on the right person. And apparently I guessed right. It was Nagi. Great Voyage Balloon mutated into what? The fluffy ovine cloud. All right, give me all them damn points. Good, I needed one of these though. This is getting so low on FP. Well, it was fun while it lasted, but it's time to move on. Still stuck with all these Mr. Mew dolls. <laughs> ha, though my sister's getting more presents than she's bargained for. A whole army of Mr. Mew. Right. I expect a brother that loves his little sis. All right, team, let's bounce. That's right, I got a sis, by the way. I don't think I even brought that up before. Nice work, Nagi. Uh, oh my God, that was some deep dang shit, boy. Oh God, now I'm starting to sound like beat. All right, Takuihama. Oh, there he is. What? I can't, I actually can't get to him. Is this, wait, so is he, is that his sister? 
A young man joined Shibuya after a long time from Tokyo. While buying clothes from, for his sister at Gato Nero, he was smitten by the shop. Oh, no, 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 no. That's the shop you were smitten with. He now goes to the store every day, buying more Mr. Me merch as an excuse to speak with his crush. Unfortunately, I can't get uh, his skill because he's not tied to anybody else. Slow mo rare noise. Slows down the speed at which rare noise symbols move. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right. I've got plenty now, so I can actually buy these ones. So, bon appetit. Boom, boom. With that, I'm actually at exactly 50% of all of the uh, the social network icons on here. All right, who else is in Dogenzaka? Oh. Hey, Rin dude, you hungry? Me? Uh, I mean, not really. <laughs> Honestly, neither am I, but I got this sudden craving for curry. And once the craving hits, I just gotta have some or else. <sighs> That's the part where you get scared. Oh no, I'm so scared. Oh no. Yo, I'm with Fred. I go for a bowl of nice bowl of curry. See, Rin, dude, B gets me in a way you never will. Great, thanks. You guys know each other for what, like two hours? We've been best friends for like years. Thanks, dude. No problem, man. What are best friends for? I mean, second best friends. Fuck. Stop being dramatic. I want to just go to the Dons. Uh, right. Yes. I knew you'd come around. All right, this is where friendship is. You know, what? it seems like Don the Don's all right. Hold up, ain't this the ramen joint? Oh shit! Oh man, we refs in old stuff. Used to be, but now they do curry. Man, we threw a whole damn arc for this guy. Now he's doing curry. He's a traitor. Man, I'm starving. Oh no. You're kidding. The place is packed to the max. Glad to see business is booming at least. Don sure looks busy. Not just busy, but overwhelmed. And understandably so. Mm. Ugh, come on, let's line up with everyone else. Man, it's times like this, oh. I wish I was a ghost and I could just steal their food. <laughs> like a real ghost. Oh, it's this guy. The chicken in his curry is positively exquisite. Marinade to perfection. And I do want to take the richest of expertly tempered cumin. Yep. Not to mention the base. The depth is reminiscent of a hearty ramen bowl. Oh, and these finishing spices. It's an entirely new culinary experience. Damn, I feel all sophisticated just listening to that. Uh. Oh, that's Buddy Rapids from the Shibuya Historical Society. Fascinating. Far be it from him to miss the opening of a remarkable new shop in Shibuya. I think he'd be in this in a curry, though. Actually, there's just one thing amiss. Huh? Disgraceful. Don't you know who I am? Enough. I'm leaving. Arr! Uh, oh, uh, thanks. Come again. How utterly infuriating. Disgusting. Blah! Throw some shit on the floor. What's up with him? Indeed. Something must have fouled his mood. Maybe the curry was bad? Doubt it. He wiped the whole plate clean. Literally licked it. It was weird. It was like, ah. Ah, dang it. I completely forgot to give him a glass of water. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's gotten into me. Huh? You don't think, is that what Buddy was all pissy about? Oh, that over a glass of water. Damn, Mart. Calm down. Shit's free. Get that shit anywhere. Seriously, it's not that big a deal. Sticks happen all the time. Especially when you're as busy as the Don is right now. Perhaps he interpreted the absence of water as an affront to his personage. Man. How? It's just water, man! Mm. With prestige comes pride, and pride is easily wounded. I suspect he may spread the word of today's perceived subpar experience, pitting himself as the victim of a poor service, naturally. The Don doesn't deserve that. It was just a mistake. I say we go out and kill him. Nah, no, just kidding. We're just gonna go talk to him. The sword is out. He can't have gone far, yo. We can still catch him. Right. Yeah, let's follow after him. The Don. All right, Buddy Rapid. More like Buddy Bitch Tits. There he is. This motherfucker. Found him over there. Yep. Spicy curry, Don, eh? You'll ruin the day you left me parched for that refreshment. I'll kill all of you. What? What's he doing? Is he going to call someone? Or leave a bad review? Not the Yelp. Don't know, but it looks like we were right about him. what made him so angry. We have to stop him. We can't let him smear his shit all over the net. Agreed. We should resolve this misunderstanding quickly. Imprinting may be our best bet. Right. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. What are my choices here? Tasty. The Don. Curry. Tasty curry. The curry was delicious, you ass. The sauce was incredibly rich and flavorful. I honestly say I've never tasted anything like it in my life. It was so scrumptious I cleaned my entire plate. We'll definitely be back for more. But fuck him. I need water. Actually, That curry, though. It was extraordinary. Eating it was like entering into an uncharted world of culinary delight. Right. Must inform all my fellow curry enthusiasts. What was I even angry about? I don't remember anymore. <laughs> Whew. Christ is averted. Yeah. 
But good for that. Still, guy's got a real stick up his ass. <laughs> I'm not as easily amused as you guys, alright? I still hate him. Getting all heat over some lousy water. It may seem trivial, but from his perspective, his most basic expectations were not met. It may have made him unfeel unwelcome, or as if he were being deliberately provoked. Don't you point at me, girl. Don't you fucking point that damn finger at me. None of this is true, of course. It was merely a mistake. But that doesn't change how he felt about it, and those feelings negatively impacted his overall experience. Everything else could be perfect, but one singular fucking mistake, and suddenly the entire meal is ruined. The human mind is a volatile and fickle thing. You think? <sighs> this all makes sense to me. Yeah, you, you don't seem like the type to let it slip up get in the way of a good meal. Of course not. Nothing keep me from enjoying my food. Someone put a lot of time and effort in making it. No way I'm dissing the love they put into that. <laughs> wow, Pete, that's actually really sweet. So, are we okay with not eating any curry? No way. Let's head back right now. Hopefully it's not sold out. We're going back. Oh, yeah. No, we are going back. He's, he's going back for more too, right? No. Sold out. Too bad. <sighs> it's okay. Tell me. Maybe next time. Bummer, yo. Guess we'll have to try again tomorrow. Uh -huh. Park. Could that be? <laughs> I love Nagi's just like vernacular. <laughs> just the random shit she says. Hark, over there. Yon yonder window, Grace. It is the east. And that curry is the sun. The prince. Uh, oh my God. Look how gorgeous he is. Oh, brother. If he's here, then this place will be crawling with fo his followers tomorrow. But, but my carrot lives up for me. Reminds me of that guy from the Deep River Society we met here. Hope he managed to get a bowl for himself. And a man time. Friendship and updates. But no food. Wait, I actually can't eat anything. Holy shit. That what fat asshole eat all the food. He better have a sick skill to make up for it. Buddy Rapids, revered by Shibuya Maniacs and River Files. His online lectures have gained a fair number of followers. He's also a curry reviewer with a terrible sense of direction, spending more time looking for the restaurants than actually eating at them. Uh, more rare noise. Increase the frequency with which rare, rare noise symbols appear. That sounds good. I'll take it. All right, that's uh, that's all the, the optional missions today. Hey, boss, please. Feed me! Feed me! Where am I, your mama bird? No, feed yourself! Come on in. All right, I got some new shit. Oh, baby. Some spicy miso ramen. Miso likey! Oh, so does fucking Rin, dude. Fret loves it. Freak. Oh, you're such a buzzkill, Nagi. I don't like spicy things. Give me the regular. No, I don't like that either, actually. What about the salty one? That's all right. What the show you fucking... Oh, okay. Fine, take this one. What about you, Beat? I love spicy shit! Oh, uh, oh my god, really big booster uh, Rindo in its attack. All right, let's go do what we're supposed to do. The Tipsy Toes Hall. Oh, yes, yeah, this, this pin's way stronger. Holy shit. Got 800 power. And it's got a sheep on it. So what's this guy's new thing? Sinful noodles. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, talk dirty to me, you little noodle. Oh, yeah. The thickest noodles in town served in a pork bone broth alongside chunky slices of roasted pork filet and plenty of pork fat for good measure. Contains an adult male's recommended daily calorie intake and then some. Truly the guiltiest of pleasures. Ugh. I won't lie. This has got some good food porn in this game. Looking at this food and reading the descriptions really does make me hungry. Ah, uh, Rindu, you don't like it? Brett's gonna love it, right? Yep. Nagi, okay with it? Beat's gonna love it too. This is exactly why Beat and Fred are friends, right? See ya. They like all the same shit. Let's move. Hey, there's a dude. Uh oh. Go on now, you kids know the drill. Go on, take care of a little mission first if you won't pass me. And I bet you already know exactly what I want you to do. Chains. Let me guess. Survival six riddles and reporting our findings. Yeah. Bingo! And you'll be reporting to me. Now, let's get down to business. The riddles you need to look into are urban legends. Oh, I can't get enough of those. This is going to be fun. Hmm. Now, I'm not talking about just any old legends. Oh, no. I mean, the dankest ones in these seven... The dankest ones? Oh, fuck. Okay, all right, all right. I'll put my big boy pants on now. He said dank. Oh, this is probably why I could run around like to so many places, huh? I probably should come talk to you first, then. It's up to you to uncover the two for spooky for TV truths behind them. Gives me goosebumps just imagine what secrets are out there. Anyway, I'll give you a points for each juicy nugget of information you bring me. Rack up a hundred points, and I'll step aside. Huh? What if we just, like, looked up all the answers on our phones right now? I thought you might say that. 
Seriously, players these days can't even take their eyes off their damn phones. I see. Hm. I see you've taken the necessary precautions. All of the most famous videos on the subject have been deleted. Well. Heh. <laughs> that wasn't us, kid. Those videos were removed because they got too close to the truth. Too close. Thanks, YouTube's fucking content ID system. So you're saying that the person who uploaded those videos was onto something, huh? <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. I'm not saying I killed him, but I'm not saying I didn't either. Who posted those videos anyway? Machistry, ostensibly a famous expert on the occult. <laughs> mm hmm. Apparently, his hobbies include living in stigmatized properties and uploading videos. And his first video to go viral was all about urban legends. He even appeared on TV a few times. Huh. Because he was kind of famous. Hey. This sounds like it's my time to shine. Uh -huh. Oh, word! Your sack's perfect for this, yo! Actually, I think about it. What's my sack? The ability to skateboard? Damn, that's a good sack. Seems like you got a plan in the making. Just don't try and pull any fast ones on me. I'll know if you're lying. I guess his is the ability to run. <laughs> Literally. To run to music. So there's supposed to be some kind of legend around here, huh? Apparently, and I've tried a variety of terms and all my searches have been fruitless. It seems all information was indeed erased. Because that Reaper was right about our phones being no use. All right, Fred. You know what to do. Hey. Uh, you good? Huh? Huh? Oh, uh, my bad. Just got a little lost thought there. Dude, this isn't a. G well, you know what I mean. Just focus, okay? I am focused. Thank you very much. I was just thinking about our team's future. Anyway, let's do this. Gotta think about urban legends and our man Matcha Street. Time to let's think. Thinking here. I'm thinking I'm going to rotate my sticks. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. Blah. Uh, okay. Now we're trying to find the, what, the red one? Oh, or the green one. Long for love. Uh, remember. Kind of want to check out that urban legend Hot the street was talking about. The one where people step into a changing room and suddenly disappear. It's the most troubling story. Gigi rooms are supposed to be sacred places. You think someone's been kidnapping peeps? Dang it. Who knows? Might find out if we check out the store ourselves. Mm -hmm. Then what are we waiting for? Let's head to Hog Thing. Uh, sounds good to me. Which is right over here. Going to Hog Thing. Huh? Did someone just scream? Um. Excuse me. We just heard a pretty loud noise and... Oh, hey. Hey, so I was like, like I was saying, any idea what that noise was? No, it was just a customer. They, uh, well, one minute they were trying on an outfit, and the next, uh, they were gone. Huh? So you're saying... People have been bashing after using your changing rooms? How'd you know? Wait, it's true? Could you tell us a bit more? Sure. So just a second ago, this person was, you know, trying on some clothes. Then they left the changing room and made for the exit. I went after them, but uh, they just vanished in thin air. And you're sure they didn't just walk out the door? Positive. Mm. This is a head scratcher, all right. You think it's... No, never mind. Come on, you can't leave us hanging mid-sentence like that. Well, this has been happening a lot around here lately. Which means... There's a good chance it's going to happen again real soon! Maybe. Thanks. Come on, team. Let's move. We'll be sure to buy something next time, buddy. Oh, that'd be great. Uh, okay. Oh, that Shepherd House. There are many other stores we can actually go inside. Let's give this one a try. Wow, people are getting plenty of use on those changing rooms. There goes another one. Wait. He's heading right for the exit. He hasn't even paid yet. Fishy to say the least. Come on, let's go after him. Tackle him. So, was that size okay for you, sir? Hey, where are you going? Hey. What the heck was that? Look, Thief just left the store. Hey. And there's the clerk. It's like he vanished into thin air. Am I going crazy? Oh. Oh, interesting. Because they can't see them once they leave the store. Wow. <laughs> clever. Huh? That is a clever way of stealing. Uh, he's right in front of you, ma'am. Looks like our culprit is a player. 
Oh, which explains why the clerk can't see him. Oh, I give up. Do you suppose that personage is the origin of this area's urban legend? <sighs> Maybe. I still want to know what that brother's deal is. Well, one way to find out, let's ask him. Man, what you doing, brother? Why are you steal shit? Um. Hey, got a minute? Excuse you? Oh, what do the icky twisters want with little old me? I'm gonna kill you. You're a player, right? What team are you on? <laughs> I guess no harm telling you. I'm with the Fari Beauties. Well, okay, I could already kind of piece that together. Uh oh. I really don't want to start anything with Cannon's team. I wonder if she even knows about this. Huh? So you got something to say, or. Oh, um. Uh, Come on, spill it. You pay for those clothes. Um. <sighs> are you stalking me or something? Hey, punk. Don't really ask it, punk. If it's a fight you're looking for, then I gladly oblige. Great. Just great. Uh, whatever. I guess I gotta kill you guys for you realize you a bunch of bitches. I'm gonna get you. All right, here we go again. Oh, God. Fucking point blank. Just throw a grenade in their face. That's how I play. Oh, this person's frozen and you about to get blown to bed. Oh, dead. This beat here with a... Important announcement, stealing is wrong. Don't steal, I'll find you and pop a cap in your ass. <sighs> I'm sorry, okay, I've just been stressed la out lately and I figured a little retail therapy would help. Does it still count if you don't actually pay? Well, Look, I won't do it again, I promise. I just couldn't help myself. The second I realized I could take the clothes and disappear, well, I had to try it out at least once. Uh, huh. But the stairs are behind me. I'm so over it. You sure about that? What uh, hundred percent? Honestly, it's more trouble than it's worth. I'll even return all the stuff I stole too. You better. What's got you so stressed out anyway? Uh, Been fighting with your friends or something? No, we're fine. I'm just tired of this gross game is all. You wouldn't understand. It's only your second week after all. Anyway, I'm out of Don't want the gang to miss me too much. I mean, the gang we just killed with you? Seriously, yo? And you better pay next time, yo! It's been a public service announcement uh. from your old pal, B. I feel him, though. This game really wears his brother out. Still doesn't excuse him shoplifting. Not in my book, anyway. I mean, paying the price is what makes shopping so fun! The only thing that beats at finding a good bargain is saving up for something you can't buy right away. You get so accomplished when you finally get what you wanted. Oh, well. None of that really matters right now. I see. I concur. No, you should just be like, no, that does matter. Anyway, that's my mystery solved. Let's report back to the Reaper. And I got some more Calcum. Hey. Well, well, this is my favorite team. Hey, there is a game. Pinky, what you doing here, girl? Just checking in to make sure you're playing the game like you're supposed to. After all, it's my ass on the line if you lot decide to slack off, you know. You sound exactly like Shoka. It's like you guys are babysitting us or something. Back in my day, being a Reaper meant getting your hands dirty. I own a bunch of security cameras, yo. Huh? You want to say that again? It's like I'm sitting on the sidelines because I want to or anything. Must be tough following the rules when you're used to making them. Anyway, Pickett, there's something I want to ask you. What? How come I'm here? You know, UG. Did you hear your head after the last game? It's because you died, obviously. See, this is what you, you think, right? But I ain't even close to death. Huh? Wait, say that again? I'm serious this time. Well, normally you remember dying, right? But I can't remember nothing. And I don't feel like I'm forgetting nothing either. That's true. And let me be clear. If there's no way it is, then you'd be violating the rules of reality just by being here. It would be like you never existed in the RG at all. <sighs> like, never existed ever? Like, Roxas? Wait, is that why I look like Roxas? I mean, is that why all our posts disappeared? <sighs> Don't tell me you three are in the same boat as him. Uh, Alas, our married group has likewise an area recollection of our own untimely demises. What is going on here? This is above even the Game Master's pay grade, or the composer could deal with a royal mess like this. If your hypothesis is indeed correct, would you be capable of returning to the RG eventually? Hmm. Honestly, I couldn't say either way. Uh-oh. The answer nobody wanted to hear. Maybe they play by a different set of rules in Shinjuku. 
Shinjuku, Shinjuku. The city that got erased three years ago, yo. What do you mean erase? I can whole city just vanish. Like an ancient civilization that fell into ruin, perhaps. Right, you were in the RG. Of course you wouldn't know. <sighs> but I knew Pinky. Saw the whole thing. Shit was hype. Which could only do because you've been to the RUG before. Okay, I'm totally lost all over again. Simply put, Shinjuku was a city that got wiped out three years ago. It was just north of Shibuya, you know? Literally does not exist anymore, apparently. Okay, so and that's what happened at the end of the last game? <sighs> what was it? I don't remember that. Yeah, I think we'd know if there was something getting destroyed right next door. Actually, you wouldn't. The second Shinjuku vanished, your memories of it followed suit. Like her brains got wiped? Oh, interesting. Basically, as far as the RG inhabitants are concerned, Shinjuku never has existed. Oh, okay. All right. So it was just never there. So what's there now? Like the empty void of space? <laughs> so it's got to fill that space, right? Just a giant crater. And we're like, dang, where did that come from? This is way creepier than those urban legends. And the Reapers who watched over Shinjuku back then are the same ones running the show in Shibuya right now. He just let him rock up and take over without a fight? Wasn't quite that straightforward. Anyway, normally there'd be some kind of penalty if a living player took part in the game. But rules never meant much to the Shinjuku gang. Nothing they do would surprise me at this point. And that includes, I guess, the foul talking chick, right? That was in the, the bonus thing. And that also we saw very briefly here not too long ago. Either way, something's got to change around here. We all wind up in the same as Shinjuku. No, actually, hers was kind of different, right? Because she was like, someone like, she made like a noise that was so powerful that it like created her own game or something. You know, be like we never even existed. All right. So I'd focus on picking up points instead of moping around if I were Later. you. Ugh, this convo has been a real downer. Try to get my ramen on for a little pick me up. Bye bye. Oh, she didn't even call us losers. That's one up on over Shoka. Well, that was quite the revelation. Though it does explain why I have not received word from my friends and family. So, even if we finish in first, we still don't know for sure if it'll go back to normal. I thought I'd perish without first playing the latest little straw chapter is too much to bear. Really? Is that still at the top of your list of shit that you wish you didn't do when you died? Come on! Aim higher, doggy! Can't do nothing bad right now anyway. Let's just focus on picking up points. <sighs> You've got a point there, Beat. I think that enemy got the point. Let's check out those other areas. So we can't exist in the RG no matter what we do? Oh, what kind of game is this anyway? <laughs> Pretty sure Sarah's got a legend of its own. Mm -hmm. Permit me to prowl the interwebs. Mm -hmm. Even the sites within area any traffic have been erased. I see you wonder how the other teams are tackling this mission. Mm -hmm. You say that again. Who cares about other teams, yo? We got our own strength. Let's use them. I mean, I'm all brawn and you all brains, right? I, mean, I got some brawn on me. No, you all fucking brains. I'm brawn. Come on, Frank, you up. Huh? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, sit back, relax, and leave it to me. Here goes nothing. Let's have a look. Let's get down to business. Okay. Uh... Ta da! Come on, think. <gasps> I found a motherfucker. That's Jumbotron Machistry mentioned, right? The one that shows them some place for a second, and if you go there, you die in seven days' time? Wait, what do you have to do to die again? Think I think you said you have to walk around counterclockwise one time. Like, who would even do that? Walk counterclockwise? So, around this? Let's move. Focus. Oh, wait, there's still more. Uh, man. Where's that place gonna show on the big screen? Much streets, whether in some place in Shibuya appear on the jumbo truck for one second every year. Guess urban legends are just that, legends. Who cares some place Shibuya gets shown once a day? So we gotta find the places that flashes on the jumbotron. A place where, once one walks around counterclockwise, one dies seven days later, or so they say. Even if that was true, who the heck would actually try it? I fear you are directing your question at the wrong person. <sighs> As someone who's already fucking dead! The place only shows up on screen for a second, right? Really not feeling to stand at the TV forever waiting to see it. Maybe there's some way we can find out roughly when it gets shown. I could try using my psych in front of the Jumbotron. Sounds like a plan. You think it'll work, yo? It will, as long as I get the right idea. Alrighty, time to focus on that big screen. I'm getting a lot of use today, aren't I? Alright, here we go. Oh wait, wrong thing. 
Behold a giant Game Boy Pocket. Uh, what's the deal with the place that just flashed on the jungle screen? Looking like for a place covered in plants. Screen must be on the fritz. I know where that is. Where am I? Oh, it's a look at building with an arch. Okay. Sandwich between two streets. Okay. Sounds like there's plants growing on the walls of that place. Does that narrow down to like just one place? And it has an arch. And was that about being between two roads? Mm -hmm. Not sure, but we definitely know it's definitely somewhere in Shibuya. If anyone thinks they know where it might be, let me know. Okay. I think it would probably be over here, right? Where we buy our air? Yep. Well, there's plants on the wall here. And several arches. It's in between two roads, yo. Aha! The building on the big screen must have been Marty. M Marty? Mm-hmm. Nice work, team. Anyway, what are we supposed to do once we got here again? Must walk in a single counterclockwise circle. Uh, right. Oh, right. Wait, won't that kill me? Well, we ain't gonna know if nobody gives it a shot. It's cool. I'll huh? do it. I mean, if you really want, huh? Woo! Do they stop him now? He's already halfway around. He's already dead. It does not seem to have any apparent effect. Imagine if we had to actually wait the full seven days. Hold it. Hey, Twisterinos, who is it? Hey, those friends, I've been watching you kids for a while now, and I'm here to fucking kill you. Oh, that, yeah, that worked pretty well. So what exactly kind of business have you got with me? Let me guess. Trying to rack up points. Huh? Wait, what have you got? What points got to do with anything? <sighs> I mean, if you're not interested, then I'll be on my way. Could you at least tell us what we're, you're, you're talking about? We're only here because we need to look into some urban legends. Such as? Well, they say if one walks around this area counterclockwise, one perishes within a week. Gotta get to the bottom of this stuff and get past one of your paths. Hurry up and tell us if you know something, yo. <sighs> I've had enough of your attitude, punk. Time for you to face the noise. Oh, oh God, really? You're just like the most annoying one on me? All right, good. Time to die. Face my little chameleon friend. Fucking die, please. Um, All right, good, he's dead. Where I break free. Damn it all. So you feel like talking now? How about you start by telling us what you were doing here? Huh. What you say? Don't let me kick you while you dance. Okay, I was using the Jumbo Drone to advertise my location. And if they walk counterclockwise around that pillar, I knew they wanted to do business. My terms are simple. Shibu pay me 300,000 yen for one round with the noise. Huh? You mean you're providing players with? Ah. Yeah. You got it. Points. For all the slaws to take a day off here and there, this is just my way of helping them keep up with the rat race. Get their heads in the game again, if you will. Still, three to Casey's cast C for one noise. Dude, I don't even know my wallet can hold that much. <laughs> hey, the market dick takes the price, not me. I see. Something tells me these transactions are far from kosher. Take a chill pill, Specs. The rankings aren't going to change because someone took out an extra noise or two. The service I provide is for players who don't want their team leaders to know they've been slacking. Well, which teams are we talking here? Canons? Matoes? <sighs> All I'm going to say is there are a few players who aren't exactly playing. But they know they'd be in hot water if their leaders found out. That's one way of putting it. And that's where I come in. But what's any of this got to do with the RG? Hmm? What do you mean? Oh, those punks with a sixth sense? Yeah, a few people from the RG picked up on my subliminal messaging. But they were getting in the way, so I sent them packing. So that's how this whole legend came to be. Seriously, yo? You a joke, yo. Mm. I fear we may have to rework the truth when we report our findings this time. Probably a good idea if you don't want to earn the wrath of your rivals. Dare they take kindly to being out in his cheats. Anyway, peace. <sighs> we can't think about what to tell the Reaper on the way. Or we can think about it. The most important thing is that we know the truth now. Let's head on over to Center Street and give him our report. Got to get some adamantite. You know, I kind of thought Urban Legends would be a little more legendary. For real! They ain't no mystery, yo! Uh, the only mystery is how you managed to solve any of them! Huh? Whoa! Oh my god, another guy off screen! Who is it? It's- Hey, loser. Oh god, it's you! So, what are we talking- What are you pinheads talking to the other Reaper about? What Reaper? The one with the pink hair? Duh! Ah, you were referred to Lady Azuki. Right, right. So, were you chatting about the game or something? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, kinda. Turns out we might not be dead after all. 
which is actually a bad thing in this case. Uh huh. Huh. Bummer. Hey, kitty girl, you're with the Shinjuku gang, right? Yeah, and? Only the Shinjuku Rebus is messed up enough to drag living people into the UGO. So, what's to you? Just want to know what your angle is. What do you all get out of doing this? <sighs> Hell, if I know. And even if I did, why would I bother telling you bozos? A Reaper. Listen, Reaper. It's Shoka. As far as the RG is concerned, we don't exist right now. Can that ever be fixed? Um. Not if you don't win. So why don't you stop moaning and get on with the mission? You're so sassy. You see how the room bingers clean up every week? Your point? How comes y'all don't just go ahead and make them reapers already? Ain't no point having to play the game forever and ever. It's their choice. They say they want to keep playing, so we let them. Then I got another question for you. How come you reapers is doing nothing when it's called the reapers game, yo? The ruin bringers is acting more like reapers than any of you all. Pretty bold statement coming from a re Reaper reject. <laughs> you think you know so much better, John, because you played some prehistoric version of the game from like, what, 2007? Fuck! <laughs> the only people who matter around here are the people with power. And weeklies can whine all they want, but nobody's gonna listen. Well, then why don't you they quit whining and start acting? Because they can't! That's just a Shiba. I mean, that's just how we do things to Shimjuku. <laughs> what was that reaction? As long as you've got power, then the game is yours. Take no prisoner, leave no survivors. That's the Shinjuku way. But that's brutal. Maybe. But if you really want to get ahead, then you got to do whatever it takes. What kind of whatever? I'm talking trickery, deceit, lies, backstabbing. Whatever it takes. <laughs> the dirtier you play, the more fun it is to watch. So I hereby grant you permission to put on one hell of a show. <sighs> I see. So that's why she's been talking this way since the start, right? Like, her superiors or other people, she's kind of like, yeah, dude, put on a good show. You're right into the cool, yo. What's the goddess of death and more an agent of disorder? Oh, you're too kind. Now go out there and prove how wicked you really are, will ya? It's about time someone shook things up around here. Deuces, dummy. Later, losers. See you, bitch. Well, if she really wants us to shake things up, then taking on the Ruin Bringers would be a good start. I say we accept Cannon's offer. You would say that. What do you think about talk, taking on the Reapers? That proposition could place us in great peril. Hey, Beat, Nagi, what do you two think about teaming up with Cannon? Ain't a bad idea. I just don't know much about the lady. If y'all think we can trust her, I'm all in, yo. Uh. Admirable though Lady Cannon's display of chivalry may be. It is difficult to discern the authenticity of her intentions. Yeah, that's what I thought. Still so many unknowns. I don't know what- Ah! <laughs> uh, oh great! It's everyone's favorite game master. Captain Greetings. Douche. <laughs> Greetings! Oh, hello, sheeple of Shibuya. This is your game master, Shiba speaking. Hope you're still hungering for more on day number four. <laughs> Got some red hot news for you. Ain't this guy ever mixed things up? <laughs> I cannot recall hearing any other variations. <sighs> the target is still on the loose, completely unsighted. It's as if all of Shibuya has gone cold. Don't tell me you've all started hibernating. Here's hoping it's just the quiet before the firestorm. If not, then I don't see much of a future for this city. I guess this guy's a Shinjuku Reaper too. Hmm. So awaken from your wintry sl slumber, players, lest the ruin bring us win again. It's time to burn the candles of your imaginations at both ends and show me what you're really made of. I don't trust this punk. What's the real point of this game, yo? <laughs> and with that, I bid you a douche. I see. Shall we proceed with the mission then? Shall we ever? Assuming you were talking to me, that is. Uh, you learned yeah. well. Perhaps a little too well. Die, Fred! Ah, oh, she said my name. She recognized. Ah! This place is supposed to have its own legend too. Yeah. Shibuya sure ain't short of them. Huh. So, you gonna do your thing? Well, what, friend? Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Till I forgot. Heh. <laughs> Talk about ironic. Okay, here goes. Mm. Hope you guys aren't tired of it because we're doing it some more. Here we go. Woo! Okay. Come on, think. Gotta believe! Okay, eerie arrows. 
I wonder if the graffiti monster she was talking about. He said anyone who follow those arrows disappears, right? Seems kind of sketchy. Uh, it definitely sounds like another player doing That's some cool. weird shit. Pretty sure that overpass the one match stream featured in one of his urban legend videos. One right by Shibuya. Should be a car. I'll check it out later. Uh, Looks like there's some kind of story connected to the overpass by Shibuya Akari. Uh, and I suspect that is where the cursed arrows lie in wait. I ain't scared of nothing. That's gotta be bogus, right? I suppose there is, but one way to find out. You said it. It's over the overpass. Oh, we're there. <laughs> uh, there's our arrows. Mm. Doesn't look like anything to me. What? Psh, see, even close to being spooky, dude. Come on. Get your aesthetic right. Hmm. Actually, I think about it. I have seen this somewhere before. Oh, man. Where was it? I see. Lord Rendo, where would you say these arrows are pointing? Looks like the express underpass. The then let's pass. Check it out. That means all the people walking this way are about to yeah. fucking disappear. They're all about to fucking die today. Okay. Hey, Mark. Whoa, these are going all over the place. Check it out, yo. Curious. It certainly bears an uncanny resemblance to those arrows we just gazed upon. Uh... But they're all pointing in different directions. What's that about? Sure makes it tough to know where to go next. Lorendo, may I? Do you suppose the code at the bottom has some sort of significance? Uh, yeah. Maybe the one arrow that looks kind of different. Might. I try scanning with my phone. Q oh, QR code? Fake what? QR code? Some kind of clue, yo? Seek the fortress. What houses those who protect this area? Follow the arrow that points left when viewed from the fortress's gate. Well, that bit about people who protect this area could mean about a million different things. Uh, we ought to begin by searching for this so-called fortress. Uh, okay. I mean, the dentist is kind of like a fortress that protects people's teeth, right? Mm, but don't most people only go after they've got a problem? One could say those who go for their regular checkups are being protected. Uh, right. See, boss gets me. Shut up! Let's go ahead and add it to the list. Man, I don't know. A fortress that protects the area. Does this place really fit? I'm down. I like dentists. I try not to buy them most times, but I'm just a stinker. You know, you know how I be. Hey, one feel kind of uneasy. No. What? You did something we should should know about? No, no I, I'm a good boy, okay? Sure. Then act like it, yo. Otherwise, the pigs start sniffing around. Damn. Wait, what am I worried for? They can't even see us. Personally speaking, I feel most at ease when police officers are nearby. Shibuya is full of a sole source of shady characters, after all. What never knows what might await when turning a corner. I imagine I am far from the only one who feels safer with people in the uniform around. Mm. Either way, a police station does fit the description in that clue pretty nicely. Okay, and over here? This guy's thing? What about Ryoji's store? Mm. I'm exactly the first place that comes to mind when I think about somewhere that keeps Shibuya safe. Frankly speaking, I would describe its owner as a harbinger of chaos. What? What do you do against such a bad rat? Stuff. Involving pigs. Oh, damn. Pigs? That does sound scary. Still, I guess you could consider him a protector of the peace, depending on your perspective. Yeah, let's keep him in mind. I would probably say the the police station. It's like right, we checked out all the most likely places. I suggest we consider them all while consulting this map. Okay. That's great, Nagi. Uh, I suppose this is an advantageous to have me around sometimes. <laughs> nice going, boss. Okay, it's a good chance to review everything we've learned so far. Mm -hmm. Which one of these arrows do we need to follow? The clue was seek the fortress that houses those who protect this area. Then when you're at the fortress, you have to follow the arrow that's pointing left. So our cannons for the fortress are Ryoji store, the police station, and the dentist. If it's Ryoji's place, then we need to follow the yellow arrow. Police station with the blue arrow, and the dentist the pink arrow. So which one is it? Lord Rindo. So Lord Rindo, have you reached a decision? Gotta be blue, baby. Yeah, pretty sure we want to follow the blue arrow. What? How come? No matter how you think about it, the fortress that protects the area has to be the police station. If you look at the arrows from the entrance, the blue arrow start points to his left. Huh? Man, you lost me. What you two think? Uh. I am firmly in Lord Rindo's camp. Mm -hmm. Which means I am too, because I give in to peer pressure. Never go against the boss. Ah, that means 
Got head to the west. Exit bus terminal. Right. You got it. Let's bounce, yo. Go bounce. I'm gonna front flip my way through there. I see you, dude. Looks like that's the end of the arrows. Indeed. Which was just, this is the spot where people are prone to vanish. The bus terminal? I mean, plenty of people get lost here, but that's kind of different. Where? Wait, where did Rindu go? What? No idea, but sure as hell ain't here. Oh my God, he's fucking dead! Again? He appears to have boarded yonder bus. Ah, <sighs> uh, uh, guys, how did I get on here? Uh, uh. Uh. Quit playing games, Rindu. Hurry up and get off the bus. Ah, oh, shit. I'm going to Kansas, guys. See ya. Is that overseas? Come back. Ready? <sighs> <sighs> that was too close. Who knows where that would have taken me? Why'd you hop in on the first place, yo? Wish I could tell you, beast. Oh. Hang on, you're a player. Reaper, what are you doing here? Wait, you're the one that made me get on that bus, aren't you? Yeah. My bad, my bad. At my eyes are some saps from the RG. Anyone who shows up to fall in those areas gets a free ride on whatever bus is about to leave. Honestly, I don't even know where they're headed off half the time. <laughs> Funny stuff, right? Tell me, what exactly is your angle here? Yeah. What's to you, brat? I don't need to waste my time explaining myself to you. Anyway, there's no point putting players on buses. Not like you get very far. Hey, Man, I get ticked off just listening to you when you run your dumb ass mouth, yo. But at least now we know who's behind that urban legend. <laughs> Wait, I means someone's already on to me. Crap. Actually, maybe this can work out okay. I just need you kids to do me a favor and die. No can do. Got a fucking demon. Die. All your asses is grass. Oh, your ass is grass. Go get on the magic school bus straight to fucking hell, boy. Here we go. All right. Let's get rid of the wolves because the wolves are the worst. Oh man, so like, do I have to fully charge my, yeah, wow. Do you see that? So that's, how, so he was pinned down by the wolf, right? I was like, well, maybe like, maybe my bomb, I don't have to fully charge it up, right? For the bomb, it has to just, just like throwing a bomb, because it's explosive, right? No, I have to fully charge it all the fucking way in order for it to kind of knock him off. God damn, it's like, maybe this was special in some way. Nah, nah, you, gotta, you better hold that shit down, boy. Damn it, I can't hit his ass. Stuck on the side of the wall. Fuck. Show me your booty, Mr. Rhino. God. Stop playing hard to get. Ugh. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I just wanted to have some fun. Whatever you do, please don't tell the other Reapers. All the other Reapers I see look crazy busy. Don't you have something else you should be doing? Honestly, I don't. There's a few teams now. I basically have no purpose. So I figured it wouldn't hurt if I pulled some pranks or peeps in the RG. Huh? You got some funny idea of what qualifies as a prank. Oh. Come on, don't be such a stiff. They get on some random bus and when they come to, they've got no idea where they are. You should see the looks of tear on their terse faces. <laughs> huh? You kidding me? You was just doing this because you were sad? Yeah. Please don't hurt me. I just want someone to notice me. Did you ever once consider how these people's friends felt when they vanished? Even if they ultimately came back safe and sound, the damage cannot be undone. Tis a little surprising this reoccurring phenomenon became the talk of the town. It's our urban legend. I think this means we've got all the info we need now. Say, I've been wondering, are you kids looking into this stuff for a mission? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. In fact, we gotta go and tell the Reaper about this one sometime soon. Um... I don't suppose I could convince you to keep quiet. What did you say? How about you keep quiet? Of course. Yeah, I'll just be on my way then. See ya. Good thing I look like everybody else. There's no way they can pick me out. Right? Right. For a second, I swear I saw an actual tail between his legs. Uh, that punk better enjoy his freedom while we can. These reapers be all over him soon enough, yo. <laughs> and that's a wrap. Indeed. This legend holds no more mysteries. Good work, team. Let's go update the reaper. We're going to have somebody to talk to us off the screen again. Anybody? No? Not this time? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, hello. oh, God, there he is. Hola there, Senor Rindo. Matoi. <laughs> Fancy running into Vo here. By which I mean you. Sorry, cosmopolitan habits die hard. 
So anyway, today's missione is a real doozy, huh? All this spooky su supernatural stuff kind of gives me the creeps. Uh, no kidding? I thought it was right up your alley. Uh, well, I could be more at ease if it could see behind the curtain, so to speak. Another new face, huh? Man, I guess I'm not repeat characters, or I've seen too many new guys. I can't remember everybody's fucking name. I'm gonna call you Blueberry, because you look like a blueberry to me. Meet Lord Matoe, the leader of the PR Hearts. So you ain't with us then. Oh, uh. Sakura Blue. You must be the infamous Mr. Daisukino. What you say? Can't it? I go by Beat, yo. Oh, Miss Scoozy, my dear Beat. They say you are Trey Bien Informe. Uh, I mean, Moy Kalto about how the op Reapers operate. Huh? My call? What you say? God damn! Uh, looks like it's Spanish for knowledgeable. Then just say that, yo. Oh. oh, my sincerest apologies. Good for you, though, Rindo. Way to Google it. Yeah, that's uh, what I'm here for. Cannon and I would kill to have a player like Beat on our side. Heh, <laughs> says so. Of course, there are only a few teams left, so we need all the help we can get if we want to avoid erasure. Yeah, I know that feeling. Hmm. What a predicament. Oh, it is a predicamente. We are truly Les Miserables. It's times like these that people go for, uh, oh, what's it called? Use your words. Ah, yes, in Alianza. I'm sure that would put us all at ease. I'd be more at ease if I knew what that was. <laughs> Italian for alliance, apparently. What exactly do you mean by that, anyway? Ah, forgive me. I didn't intend to present it as an outright proposal. That would be the first proposal I've heard today. Oh, has somebody else already approached you? Yeah, you see, uh... I struggle to imagine those thugs in the first place asking for assistance, <laughs> which only leaves canon, ne sais pas. Maybe we should just tell them. Nah, that's an awful idea. Hey, no need to fret at all. Fret at all. That's my name. He said my name. I have suspicion canon might be plotting something like this again. Uh -huh. Again? She wants you to help her bring ruin to the ruin bringers, Esfadad. I thought she might have given up after her first few failed attempts, but I guess she changed her tune after witnessing your true potenza. Wait, when she fail before? Well, let's see. There was that fight against the sturdy Susukichi, and then a bout with the silent but deadly Sumugi. But you lot managed to shut them down, sin problema. No mean feat, let me tell you. Fascinating. So the Ruinbringer's leader is remaining hidden until their underlings have been bested. Wow, Kana must really believe in us. I don't envy your position, mi amigo. You're faced with a tough decision. Hmm. But allow me to share my thoughts. Forming an alianza under the current circumstances would be muy bien. So you think it's a good idea? It certainly isn't a bad one, and I'm prepared to do what I must as well. Uh, what's that? Why, help out, of course. The more people working together, the better the resultat. French for result. Hey. The verete of the matter is, I don't want to get erased, and if possible, I don't want anyone else to get erased either. I'm right there with you, Matoe. It's as I once wrote, existing means being here, or whatever you may be. I think it's a vital we don't lose sight of the undeniable fact that all of us exist here, right now, together. Yeah, I think I get what you mean. Like we're here for a reason. I dig it too, yo. Even if you ain't here now, you was before, and that still matters. Well, it's certainly nice to be entendido by you gents. I am eternally grateful to the city that brought us together, and to all those who call her home. Let's give it our all, eh, amigo? Drop me a line whenever you feel like. Until then, au revoir. Aha! Well, that got talked all douchey, but I guess he was sort of right. Actually, I have no idea what the fuck he just said to me. Man, I feel bad for Matilla, you know? Second last place and everything? All right. The room bringers are on top, and we're right behind them. And that leaves Matoi or Ken on the team in the bottom. Oh, well. They're fucking dead. Let's move! Oh, wow. Everyone likes Onigiri except for B. Man, fuck fish. I don't like fish. I guess he probably doesn't like this one then. No way he does. Wait. Wait. Onigiri is a rice ball. He takes two plums for the price of one. And this is fish. I guess he likes fish. Fish good. Fried chicken? Okay. Wait, wait. I actually want to know. Anyone not like a lot of fried chicken? Nope. Nobody dislikes it. They're just either okay with it. What about potato chips? It's educational. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I'm seeing some relative consistency here. All right, lady. We got your thing. 
What's your new hot shit? Your hot convenience store item? A microwave burrito or something? A bowl of oden. Seasonal soup enjoys extreme popularity among Mo Moai Mart patrons. Some even throw in a plain on gear to soak up the bonito infused broth and enjoy it as a makeshift risotto on the go. That sounds pretty good. Uh, everybody loves it. Yeah. We finally agree on something. Everybody like the bowl of Odin. You know what? It's just kind of hit me. Beat has not seen show yet. Sh technically, Beat doesn't know that show's here. <laughs> oh, shit. That's going to be interesting when he realizes he is. He's going to be like, what the hell is he doing here? Oh, God. Oh, oh shit. Oh, God. We all going to die. That's right, B. Back from the dead, asshole. <laughs> My binomial nomenclature can't be factored that easily. Oh, God. He's still as incomprehensible as he was last game. Kind of surprised this place is his own legend. The only story I know concerning this area is from two generations ago. <laughs> I'm most curious to see how it may have evolved over time. Huh. The urban legends just kind of stay the same. Not quite. Some stories change the nature as they age. So what is the deal with this place anyway? <laughs> well, you will die the second I tell you. Do you still wish to hear the details? Yeah. I think it a fast. How about I look into a more recent legend instead? Good idea, yo. I'll feel like dying again. Okay, here it goes. Focus, Fred. Okay. Uh, Macho Street said, stepping on one of the white lines of the cross in front of 104 gives you real bad luck. And I have to avoid all these lines to be safe. Don't break your mother's back. Crossing in front of the 104, I remember seeing some video about a guy who got in an accident and cursed the place. So the crossing in front of the 104 is cursed, huh? One shall drown in despair if they step on a certain white line. Well, why don't we start by sticking out the crossing? All right. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Rindo. Say, Rindid. What? You see those people suddenly stopping in the tracks? Huh? Now that you mention it, it's kind of weird. Right? So, you guys notice anything? Be able to stop walking in the middle of the crossing. All at the exact same spot, too. What exactly did they do once they stopped? Looked at their phones, I guess. And then they started walking again after a second. Mm. That's pretty normal. Maybe it was just a one big coincidence? Ooh, wait. Huh? Look, that girl stopped walking, too. <sighs> Feel my wrath. What? I'll curse every last one of you. <laughs> I'll kill every last one of you. Whoa, what the hell? Did they all just happen upon some dank Dimitri meme in that one moment? And they're all like, I'm so red hot horny for murder. Most of me likes he's texting, yo. I get if they were all taking pictures in the same spot or something. Wait. Hey. Hey, Fred. Does that guy look a bit off to you? Which one? <laughs> hey. How's it going, lady? <laughs> nah, no, seems pretty normal to me. Huh? Oh, that guy? Yeah, I guess he is. He is kind of close. Evidently, he does not believe in personal space. How could one so brazenly stare at another's phone? Truly, it boggles the mind. I'll say I'm more confused by how she hasn't noticed him. Yeah, she looks pretty damn chill. The friends or something? Yeah. Hang on, I can't scan the guy. Guys, seriously, we're not really like. Look at it. Look, you guys all look the same. How would not recognize these guys as players anymore? So he's one of us, huh? Let's start talking to him. Um. Hey, you got a minute? Oh, yeah, what? How can you? Oh, I get it. You're a player. What's up, buddy? Uh, I was just wondering. Are you one of the pure hearts? <laughs> Who gave it away? My aristocratic aura? Nice. Nah, all got the same face. Not really important, pal. We're much more interested in what you were doing just now. Oh, that, that was, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, I don't need to explain myself to you. That Mr. Nice Guy act didn't last long, huh? Screw it. Enough talking. Let's fight. Whoa, slow down a sec. Nah, let's rumble. I feel like beating some more ass. Just me, him by himself? No, apparently he had friends. That were off screen or something. Alright, they're dead, yo. Now let's go back to being just a singular person. Oh, I got a bootleg twos. Hell yeah, it's my favorite kind of twos. And Pink Matador. <laughs> King Jones was joke kidding. I was I was kidding. I didn't actually want to fight you. Seriously, no, no reason to thrash me like that. In that case, tell us. What were you doing just now? 
Yeah, I was just imprinting some words in her head. What's to you? Is this guy for real? It is most rare to witness you so vexed. What exactly was you were trying to make her do anyway? <sighs> I mean, you saw her, didn't you? I was making her text her friends. Helping her push the reset but button on all her relationships. What? <laughs> you know, everyone's so worried about the relationships and how people view them. I was just freed her from that burden. You know, give her a helping hand. <laughs> what you say? How about I help you shove your hand where the sun don't shine, yo? Yikes! So put that dog on a leash already. But why? What do you get out of messing with some girl? Uh, well... Same so place you get from any act of charity. Charity? This guy's got more than one screw loose. Don't like it? Well, tough. You kids can't control me. No one running this game cares about how you use your powers either. That might be true, but you're still... Lord Rindo. Lord Rindo, do not allow this cur to rile you up. So she, he's like having people, like what? To like get rid of their friends or something? Or like move them for their phone? Or like talk shit to them? You may be correct in saying there are no restrictions on how we use our powers. However, that does not give you free reign to destroy innocent people's relationships. Right. Kind of like what another used to say. No one has the right to do wrong. Uh, I suppose I cannot disagree. Matoi doesn't know you're doing this, does he? Please. He, huh? What does it matter? How do you think your leader would react if we found out about this? Uh, well... <laughs> Is that a threat? You think I'll sit down and be a good boy the second you mention the boss? You think I'm the one with the screw loose? By all means, if he's fine with this type of behavior, then allow me to set you straight. What you're doing is wrong. You know, I was just, I was just messing around. Oh, really? No way. Yep, but I apologize if I upset you. You won't get me doing it again. Anyway, see ya. <laughs> what the fuck? That guy needed an extra douchey face for just being an extra douche. It was a rather expedious retreat. You really never know what kind of person you're gonna bump into next. Must be hard enough to just keep your teammates under good control. Add working with other teams into the mix and things get really hectic. <sighs> well, I guess that takes care of that. Let's go tell that repo about it. Sure thing. We're gonna tell him a lot, a lot of things now. Any, uh, no cutscene? No, nothing? All right, I think this is probably a good place to stop. But technically, we still do? have, I think, two other places that we can go check out. I don't know if at this point, maybe we've already, like, hit as many as we need. But I just want to check them out, you know? They're, not, they're actually not too bad. And I have actually been enjoying the, the additional, like, main story lore that we're getting in between each one of these, too. I'm definitely finding it way less monotonous than the, the time we were looking for Neku. And honestly, it's kind of also showing, right, that there's not really, like, a lot of upkeep by the Reapers on this game and its participants, right? On how they're doing this which is kind of interesting but anyway guys i hope you all enjoyed this episode if you did please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe if you're not ready become a picky penguin on board this cell p where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny and as always guys till next time stay classy